It's official. More money than ever is going toward addressing violent crime and the root causes of that crime in Indianapolis. The City County Council passing next year's budget tonight with support from both Democrats and Republicans. Mayor Joe Hogsett's administration and City County Councilors are hoping this keeps people in our city safer now and in the future. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Fianchin Stinger. So glad you're with us this evening. This investment comes during a time when the city is now on pace to set a record for more homicides in a single year than ever before. And we are hearing from many of you tonight asking what is being, do, what is being done right now to solve this increase in violence and also save lives. Fox 59's Courtney Crown is live in studio tonight. Courtney, where is this money going? Well, Dan, when you look at the budget and the American Rescue Plan dollars, city leaders point to the expansion of the violence interrupters, among many other areas. That team will grow from 10 people to 50, and they say they've already stopped 600 potential acts of violence so far this year. Tonight, city county councilors voted to pass the 2022 budget. This helps IMPD continue affording body cameras and puts money toward reentry services at the Assessment and Intervention Center at the new Community Justice Campus. It helps reduce recidivism rates, right? So if we can get to those individuals while they're in custody to figure out what was the issues that led them to being incarcerated. Along with the budget, $150 million worth of American Rescue Plan funding is going towards violence reduction efforts over the next three years. This includes hiring more officers and increasing the city's peacemakers to 50 people, a team that's already intervened in 600 situations. I can tell you that it could have led to 600 shootings, right, or less, but either way, we've been able to interrupt violence as it occurs or as it's about to occur. The rescue plan funding also puts $9 million towards law enforcement technology, $30 million towards mental health programming, and $45 million toward organizations working to combat crime. What we hope to be able to do is uh, leverage these funds and these programs to do the most good as soon as we can. It's a lot of money, and counselors say city leaders must hold recipients accountable. So we are making a lot of big financial investments this year, a lot of, um, a lot of things that we are, are from a nonprofit perspective, from a police perspective, where they could do very good things, but we have to keep a watchful eye on that. The budget passed 23 to 1. District 4 Councilor Ethan Evans was the only no vote, saying he thinks city leaders need to move faster towards solutions. We should be looking towards other successful uh, models in other cities for ending homelessness and creating affordable housing and ensuring a successful uh, treatment for people with mental illnesses and substance addiction uh, issues and not be afraid to make those big changes uh, to the status quo that we have. The 2022 budget totals $1.35 billion, and the American Rescue dollars will be spent over three years. Dan. Courtney, when will we start seeing the money making an impact here, here in Indy? Well, Dan Hogsett's chief of staff says within weeks and months, we're told the city has, again, three years to spend the American Rescue Plan money, but the city plans to get the programs up and running as quickly as possible. We do already know that some of that money is going toward a pilot program for a gunfire detection system for IMPD and license plate readers as well. All right, Courtney Crown reporting live tonight. Courtney, thanks so much. We appreciate it.